Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with some news about an idea that Major League Baseball is bandying about, which seems to be getting some traction for how they can actually play the baseball season, even potentially the entire schedule or an entire 162 games. Apparently what the plan calls for is all 31 teams going to the Phoenix, Arizona area and playing games in empty parks like the Diamondbacks home field and other spring training facilities and fields around that area. Say what? Cut! No, 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 man. You're making me fall asleep to death, bro. Okay, the line is, say what? Say what? Say what? Say the players would, it would be a minimum skeleton crew of people working the stadium. Um, as few, I guess, team officials as possible. And just the two teams on the field playing each other, no spectators. And even um, I heard one potential plan is to do seven inning games as double headers to get to make sure that they can get 162 games in. Because they may not even be able to start this plan until June. So to get 162 games in um, from June through September or October you would probably have to you would probably have to do a lot of double headers the teams the players on the teams would only go but they wouldn't go out to eat they wouldn't go to clubs they wouldn't go to anywhere they would just go from between their hotel rooms to the stadium play the games go back to their hotels so that's the skeleton crew out line, you know, the basic, you know, um, uh, nuts and bolts of the idea. Um, supposedly it has the backing major league baseball management, I suppose, came up with the idea. It has the backing of the players union. It even has gotten some approval from CDC and, um, uh, in the World Health Organization and other such organizations like that. So, um, then the question becomes, let's assume they do it. Let's assume that they can get the backing of everybody that they need to get and they can put this plan into motion. Is that really good for baseball? Or is it better even to have a lost season. I mean, we've had seasons before that have been only a half a season. Um, I don't think we've ever had a se like a complete season wiped completely out. But, I mean, we've had half seasons. We've had parts of seasons. We've had two half seasons that were treated as two seasons for, you know, season winners. And then they played. So, I mean, we've had things like that happen before. I guess it would be unprecedented to just not have a season. Um, because this thing could last, I mean, who knows? I mean, it could last 18 months. It could go right through the baseball season before it's safe to congregate in any number um, over, you know, five to ten people. So, you know, and if that happens for, you know, through the baseball season or into October or whatever then that would wipe out any baseball season unless this plan is put into effect. So the question is, what kind of, you know, I mean, it really kind of takes away from the, uh, the point of a spectator sport. I mean, it's, that's not a spectator sport. It's just a sport being played on a field and you're getting results, statistics, results, whatever, and then, um, and how realistic are, I mean, you know, 
if let's say the New York Yankees win the World Series, were they really the best team? Were they really the World Series team? Would they have been if it had been a normal baseball season where everybody played in their own home park and teams had to go through all of the travel and uh, the fatigue and the being run down and that every team has to go through throughout the course of a season, including the Yankees? Because remember, nobody has to travel anywhere. You just have to go from your hotel room to a, to a ballpark and play a game. There's no jet lag. There's no... Nothing like that that factors into um, results that, um, you know, that actual results during a real season um, bring about. So, you know, so then that, you know, that, that goes to how accurate are the results. Plus, how many games are going to be seven inning double header games? Because if you're only, if you're lopping off two innings of every game, there's a lot of statistics you're not getting, you know, in for a, a game. You know, closers are coming in earlier. You're moving all of that up. The starters are going a bigger percentage of the game. Because right now, starters only play maybe five innings. They only pitch maybe five innings of, um, of a potential nine-inning game. And then what happens now if they're pitching five innings of a potential seven-inning game? So... Um, so those are some questions that um, I put out to the audience. Do you think that would be better? Would it be better to just wait until there's an all clear and then play as many games as you can? Would it be better to just say, listen, let's not have a baseball season. Let's just take a break. We'll call this the lost season. No statistics, no standings, no World Series. And then we'll we'll pick it up next year. So I don't know what's better, um, but right now this is the only alternate plan that I've heard of to try to get things going, even potentially before there's an all clear, and people can go to stadiums and go out to eat and do normal lifetime activities again. So I would be very interested in what you guys think. Um, I am kind of on the fence about it. I really don't know what to think, whether it would be better um, to do this. Because if you say you're going to wait till the season starts, you're, you're going to wait until it's all clear and everybody can do their normal activities again, well, you don't know if that would leave enough time for any kind of real baseball season. And so then that wipes it out. So I think the only real choices are this choice where every every team meets in Arizona and plays a schedule, plays out the schedule, or no baseball. So if those were your choices, what would you say? What would you pick? I probably would lean a little towards the, you know, gather all the teams together, have them play all their team their games or most of their games as seven inning double headers or a lot of them as seven inning double headers in you know a very confined area just the teams no spectators for this year and see how that goes but i'm only just slightly on that side of the fence but i'd be anxious to hear what all you guys think and uh for right now though it's me uh, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.